I'm Ryan Bertrand. You're watching The Ugly Inside. Welcome back to our end of season reviews and on to our left backs now then, a player that has been consistent and brilliant for us this season, certainly a contender for the player of the year with Ruben ex Saint and uh, Ewan who's been here all day with us. Ryan Bertrand, brilliant uh, British player. British player, yes, um, homegrown player. I don't know where to start really, um, does what he says on the tin, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't, I don't think anybody questioned his um, performances this season. And I think I certainly uh, across some times in the season when Danny Rose was uh, was fit for Tottenham, as a big uh, challenge for him to break into the England first eleven. But certainly at times, Birchard has been the best left back in the country. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think I think he I think he's up there, and I think people kind of thought of him when he was at Chelsea as maybe not that sort of top class left back that could play for England. He's come to us. He's come to his into his own sort of level, and he's he's, he's been fantastic. Um, I think he, I think he's matched last season. I think he's done well. O- only criticism slightly is I think due to the system he hasn't been able to really get up as high up the pitch and put as many crosses in as he would like to. Maybe we're not pushing our fullbacks as high as maybe Kuma did last year. Um, but he's a solid eight out of ten every week, and you can't fault that. And I just worry again that because he's English. Big yes, clubs yeah. might come looking. Cheap pickings. Yeah. yeah. And it's cheap headlines by the, by the tabloids to yeah. always link him to the places like Liverpool. Yeah, well, hopefully um, things can change this season. And, um, but it all depends on, on contracts, as we know, to a certain degree. But um, most of the time, okay, they're now down to past four years. And um, it's only when they get down to the two years that and the restart's going to get twitchy and um, it's sort of do we cash in now or do we not? Um, I think it's hard to say that we're going to cash in on Birch and I think he is, you know, he's going to be here for at least five years of his career at least five well, or six Birchons, Birchons, um, hopefully safe I think we're fortunate enough to have a bit of a um, not a glut but we have got players two or three players um, head of the playing in that spot now I think in particular Birch has been an important figure, <coughs> setting up a lot of goals, getting himself with some goals, uh, goals against uh, Bournemouth in particular in that 3-1 win and excellent all round. Yeah, um, he is one of the best uh, attacking fullbacks in the league, no question about it. He's got a great cross on him, we saw him pull the ball back for Charlie Austin in the West Ham win, <coughs> sorry, away. Um, and he, he can finish as well, we've seen it against Queen's Park Rangers when, in his first year um, and against Bournemouth as you said. And he is a key player. He is he is our he's our he's our number one left back. And I can't see anyone really getting close to him for a while. I think a, a good um, benchmark for for players that are more than comfortable with playing in the Premier League is like Van Dyke. I put Bertram in Van Dyke sort of level where he never really looks flustered. He never really looks that he's like having to make a last ditch tackle because he's already read it he's already in the position and just just comfortably sort of mopping up things obviously he has to make a few last ditch blocks and things but um, I think in, in general he never the ball comes to him he's comfortable in possession his touch is first class and um, it just just exudes confidence in me like Van Dijk does he looks like he could, um, nobody's better than him, nobody can beat me. That's, that's the sort of impression I get. And in summer, you're in out of 10, Ryan Bertrand's season. And Bertrand has had a very good season yet again. He hasn't failed in uh, to, to be one of our best players for the past four years. Um, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I'm going to go for an 8.5. 8. 8. <laughs> um, I say this, well. Actually, no, I'm giving him a nine. I don't think he's really done a lot wrong. Um, I don't know, I think it's been very positive for me with his, um, with his England career on the app as well. Sometimes your club form lets you down a little bit. And I think he's um, coped with that well. And uh, I think he's worth a nine. I'm going to go for an eight out of ten for Ryan Birch's season. A great comp- contribution with a lot of assists. Some important goals, taking us forward in the League Cup as well. A goal against Arsenal. Birch and 
as uh, we've been saying, one of the best left backs in the country. But Ryan Bertrand, that's us for our end of season reviews. Leave us your likes, leave us your thoughts on Ryan Bertrand's season in the comments below and subscribe for more.